Not since Randy Moss has Tom Brady had a legitimate deep threat in his receiving core. And don't get me wrong, it's worked out pretty well. The Pats have won two Super Bowls since Moss left and Brady has never been a big downfield thrower. But man, having one can really open up those short to medium range passes, which is what makes Brady deadly and helps the Edelmans and Amendolas of the world to thrive. And that's what Brandon Cooks provides. Belichick, who has basically underpaid for receivers his entire coaching career, was willing to sacrifice his first round pick this past offseason to bring the speedy Cooks to New England. And Cooks has been the biggest standout in the eyes of Patriots fans during the first few days of training camp. He's been burning New England's stacked group of defensive backs, including their newest addition, Stephon Gilmore. Jimmy Garoppolo even went as far as saying Cooks is probably one of the fastest people he's ever seen in person. It's hard to find any holes in this offense. We know New England's receivers are great, especially when Gronk is healthy. They revamped that running back, adding Gillisley and Burkhead. And most importantly, they're returning a very dependable offensive line that allowed few hits to Brady last season. As for Tom, he finally threw an interception his third day of camp, but he's still outperforming Garoppolo and Jacoby Brissett so far, although they're looking pretty good as well. Every year the Patriots do a skill test to see if players have improved or regressed in the offseason. Last year, Brady shocked everyone by posting his best score at the age of 39. It will be interesting if this is finally the year Tom begins to decline, but I wouldn't bet on it, despite what many assistant coaches around the league are praying will happen.